Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to briefly talk about a REIT or real estate investment trust that recently slashed its dividend by 50%. This is a REIT that I discussed its fundamentals before on this channel and mentioned the risks of investment in the company due to their awful capital allocation and balance sheet. Yes, it is true North Commercial or TNT REIT, which is an office-based focused real estate investment trust in Ontario with a lot of government related tenants. I will also talk about another REIT which is very likely to do the same and reduce its dividend soon. We have a lot to cover in this short video so let's jump right into this. True North Commercial or TNT REIT was a REIT with an almost 10% dividend yield so a lot of Canadian passive income investors loved this stock as it could provide them monthly cash flow with a huge starting yield. TNT released their recent earnings report last week and they finally decided to cut their dividend by 50%, as I predicted in my previous videos on TNT. This is a short clip from my recent TNT stock analysis video, where I discussed the fair value of the stock and compared TNT fundamentals against my six REIT indicators, which I defined as quality matrix in a real estate company. According to my model, if we expect 10% return year over year in the next 10 years, the fair value of TNT stock is around $3 per share, which means compared to the current share price of $6, of almost $6, the TNT shares are traded at almost 50% premium. So as you can see here, TNT passed zero out of six indicators. It did not pass even one of my REIT indicators here, which I defined before, and it was significantly overvalued according to discounted future FFO model. I would personally avoid investing in TNT at this point, as it is extremely risky, even with a tempting 10% dividend yield of this street, I believe the dividend can be cut easily with the first sign of weakness in their tenants' ability to pay the rent, as they have no margin of safety for dividend payout here. So yeah, unfortunately, the weakness and risks that I talked about in the previous video finally became a reality for TNT shareholders. TNT occupancy dropped to 93% in the last quarter. The share dilution caused an increase in the distributions while the cost of borrowing increased significantly during the past few quarters for TNT. They had a payout ratio at around 110% which was obviously not sustainable as the collected rent was lower than the amount of the dividend payouts. As such, TNT management was forced to cut the dividend to be able to continue its operations and therefore they reduced the dividend by 50%. The share price of TNT also crashed significantly after this news and now TNT stock is trading close to $3 per share which is close to what I predicted as the fair value of the stock in my previous video. Anyway, I'm so sorry for all shareholders of TNT. I know it's not fun to see the value of your position drops by almost 50% and also your dividend income is drops by 50% at the same time. But this is investing. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. There is no shame in making mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes too and learned from those mistakes. So hopefully it all works out for you at the end. As I mentioned in the start of the video, rising interest rate environment is not good for debt heavy businesses and REITs like TNT. But there is another real estate investment trust or REIT in the market that I think it's really close to have the same fate as TNT and that is Northwest Healthcare REIT. Similar to TNT, they are also exponentially diluting shareholders to raise capital, which means they have to pay more dividend or distributions. Their payout ratio is over 100% similar to TNT. They had a significant reduction in funds from operation in the last quarter, and the management team are dumping the shares of the company left and right. I'm not sure what will happen. Maybe they can recover their funds from operation or magically able to reduce their debts, but this is a very risky investment at the moment, in my opinion. I just wanted to mention this again. So hopefully retail investors like you and me not ending up holding the bag in these companies. Anyway, at the end of the day, you should do your own research and make decisions which are best for you. These videos are just my personal opinion and you know your own risk tolerance better than me. I hope whatever decision you make works out for you at the end. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will come back with a video about Northwest Healthcare earnings report which will be published I think in about 10 days. But until that time, I see you guys in the next video. Farewell.